What's up everybody, it's CJ. Yeah, I know it's been a while since I created a cooking video, but today I'm gonna to try my hand at a smoky chicken alfredo. I've never made alfredo before, so this should be interesting. You know what? Why don't you come join me? Let's grab our ingredients and let's get started. Okay, we have our Parmesan cheese. I have a couple of uh, chicken breasts, just boneless chicken breasts. I have my penne rigate and my fettuccine. I haven't decided which one to use just yet. I have a few cloves of garlic here, some parsley, some butter, and from the local dairy, uh, some heavy whipping cream. Okay, now we have our liquid smoke. I have a couple of different brands here. It doesn't really matter. And some hickory smoke marinade. And you're going to use your salt. I got Himalayan sea salt, but regular salt would do. And some flour. And we got our Gouda cheese. And our seasoning. We have um, Italian seasoning here. And I have some no salt seasoning here. Um, why don't didn't use the Italian seasoning, I can't figure it out. But you can, as you can tell, I use a lot of the no salt seasoning. So that's what we're using. Okay, now let's start our pasta. We're gonna start out with a pot of water and then we're gonna bring it to a boil and add our salt. Once it's boiling again, you wanna add your pasta. And you once it's boiling, you wanna get a spatula and stir it up to make sure the pieces are not stuck together. Our next step is to prep our chicken breast with the marinade. You're going to grab a single chicken breast. This one seems kind of thick so I think I'm going to go ahead and just cut it in half to make two smaller chicken breasts. You butterfly it open like, like this and then I'm just going to cut it in half right, that, right down the middle. And it does have a little fatty tissue on the side. You can cut that off to make the perfect breast if you like, or you can uh, go ahead and fry it. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it and fry it. I have a dish and I put the chicken breast in and I'm gonna use my liquid marinade. Uh, you have to be careful with the liquid marinade when you, on some dishes because it can overpower your dish. Just put enough in there to, to saturate through. Um, you can play with it to figure out how much you like to use, how smoky you like your fl uh, food to taste. Okay, now I have my hickory smoke marinade. And you see, you notice how the liquid smoke has saturated through the chicken. So this you can be pretty liberal with. It doesn't have a lot of salt in it. It doesn't taste real salty. But anyway, you saturate your chicken, you wanna flip it, make sure that every piece is covered in the marinade. You want the flavor to soak through and through. You want every bite to taste the same, have that good smoky flavor to it. We're gonna let it marinate while we're making our sauce. Okay, we're gonna get our garlic, get just a couple of cloves, and we're gonna press it with a knife to get the outer skin to come loose. And then you have the naked garlic there and chop. You get butter in the saucepan, melt it. And now we're gonna add our garlic. This is the chopped garlic we had before. So you just add it to the pan and you're gonna uh, stir it around. What you're trying to do is saute the garlic. You want to uh, uh, cook it down a little bit uh, until it starts to brown to really give you the true flavor of the garlic. And then we're gonna add our heavy cream. And then you wanna stir that up until it kinda of blends together. Make it smooth into a nice cream. And then you wanna add your, your Parmesan cheese. And then you're gonna blend it again. Mix it all together, try to get the cheese to melt. And it's going to create more of a cream. And just stir it real fine. 
and then we want to add a couple of slices you can add a few more if you like of uh, smoked gouda and then you're going to do the same thing as you did with the parmesan cheese you're going to just stir it up in the pot the heat from the uh, sauce is going to melt the cheese but you just have to stir it until you don't feel any more of the sliced cheese left and you can add as much gouda as you like or add, um, different kinds of cheese you can play around with the cheeses but I like the flavor of the smoked gouda into the sauce and so you just stir it up and until it becomes a nice creamy sauce like this Now you want to add your garnishes, which is parsley, it doesn't have a lot of flavor. So we're just adding, getting some parsley, chopping it up real fine. Just give the, the parsley a chop and you're going to add it to the sauce because it gives it a nice color. So it, the sauce is just not bland. You got this parsley and we're going to blend it in as well. And it's going to have a nice color to it. It adds a lot of, uh, pizzazz to the sauce but no flavor and we're going to create our flour base for it you have uh, about a cup of flour or however much depending on how much chicken you're cooking you get your flour and then we're going to add our uh, no salt seasoning you get that no salt seasoning sprinkle it on the flour and just mix it all together to make a nice coating for your chicken Now we want to get our chicken breast and we're going to dip it into the flour and uh, just like you would uh, coating chicken or whatever, uh, I sometimes use egg to put on the outside of the, on my chicken, but since this has already been soaking in marinade, I figured no, I wouldn't do it. So we're going to make sure we try to get every piece of the chicken covered. You want to flip it, make sure that there's any creases, you know, just to have enough batter, have a nice coating over, over your chicken breast. Now we're going to get our butter. Uh, this is what we're going to use to fry the chicken. We're going to uh, melt the butter. And then we're going to get our chicken breast and we're going to lay it in there. I actually have probably too much butter. You don't really need this much. And then you just lay the chicken breast in and let it begin to fry. You want to keep it on medium heat. You don't want to burn the chicken. I did have my heat up a little more than it should have been but uh, if you keep it on a low heat uh, medium heat it'll not make it nice and golden brown without being too dark so you just let let the chicken fry up on one side and then you're going to flip it over check it flip it over and uh, let it fry on the other side and then you keep it on low heat and let, to make sure the chicken is cooked all the way through Now that our chicken is fried and it's done, we're gonna take it out and just get a couple of napkins or something so you can drain the excess butter out of it. Of course, I'm letting you know this meal is not healthy. Some people call it heart attack on the plate. It has a lot of butter in it. It's uh, very rich as far as that's concerned, the pasta and everything. So uh, if you're not worried about health-wise, this is a very tasty dish, very nice. Uh, nice Italian dish. Now we're going to put our dish together. We're going to uh, get our pasta. You want to drain it and we're going to put it into a different saucepan without all the water in it. And now we want to add our salt. Look at that nice creamy salt. You can save some of it to top your dish later, so just save a little bit. But we're going to get the sauce, mix it in so that each piece of pasta has sauce on it. Oh, I wish you could smell this. It smells so good. So we're just stirring it up, trying to make sure that it's saturated in the sauce.
Now we're going to put our chicken on top. And you can add a little bit more sauce on top and add your garnishes, add just, which is just parsley, just sprinkle it on top. And that's your dish is complete. If you like, you can add salt and pepper at the end when you're getting ready to serve it or on your individual dish. So this is my first time making smoky chicken Alfredo. It looks very good. I hope your recipe came out as well as mine. And I hope you love this dish. Thank you for watching.